Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make some brown butter. Now what is brown butter? Well that's where you take typically unsalted butter and you put it in a stainless steel pan and you melt it and you cook it until the water evaporates and the milk solids sink to the bottom of the pan and they turn brown. And what that does is it gives the butter a great flavor. It's sort of like a nutty flavor that's maybe even a hint of toffee. And it just adds so much flavor to so many dishes. You can use it on your pasta, you can put it on your vegetables, you can make sauces with it, you can even bake with it. I have a recipe for you on how to uh, use brown butter in making ginger cookies, for example. And they are delicious because of that. So, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to make it right after this. So typically everybody talks about using unsalted butter, but recently I've been using salted butter with great results. You can use salted butter to make brown butter, no problem. You just have to watch it. It's a little bit, um, a little bit harder to make only because it seems like it foams up more and, and it's harder to see the butter as it's browning. And that's what you want to avoid is burning your brown butter. But we'll talk about a way to help remedy that if you do happen to burn it. Okay, but for now, let's talk about our butter. I have been using salted butter, like I said. Uh, Kerrygold is my favorite. It comes from, uh, the butter comes from pasture-raised cows, which I think, for whatever reason, the butter just is easier to work with, as opposed to like clover organic butter. I've tried that. It foams up a tremendous amount, makes it more difficult to see when it's done, and you're more likely to burn it if you can't see it. So I recommend using this, whether it be salted or unsalted. So what we do is you want to use a stainless steel pan as opposed to a dark colored bottom pan, right? Because you want to be able to see the butter. So either a white bottom or stainless steel works the best. And wider is better than more narrow and deep because it's just easier to see the butter as it's browning. This is the largest pan I have, so that's what we're using today. And I'm just going to brown up a little bit just to show you. Okay, so I'm going to place some butter, my Kerrygold butter, into the pan over medium heat. We'll start it there. Now I'm using a spatula that is heat resistant that we can use to just keep stirring the butter as it melts. Now altogether this will take just a few minutes. It's already starting to bubble up pretty good. Um, I might turn it down a little bit just until everything melts. But you can see using a light colored pan it makes it very easy to see what's going on in the, in the butter. And like I said the milk solids will start to separate and fall to the bottom. The, the water, there's always water in butter. Some brands have more than others and that's what you're going to see bubbling up. And you want to have a dish ready. I have this little dish here, hopefully that's big enough, to pour this into immediately once it, you know, turns brown to where I want it. Uh, you want to get it out of the pan so it doesn't continue to cook and possibly burn. Okay, so now you can start hearing the bubbling going on. It's starting to get, you know, you can see the milk salt. Things are separating a little bit. And depending on your stove, if things start getting too crazy, bubbling too hard, you can always turn your, your flame down. You can even take this off the heat as well, so don't be afraid to do that. So that water is starting to evaporate those bubbles, that's what that is. I tried using that other uh, brand, Clover brand, and I did make brown butter with it, but it foamed up a tremendous amount, made it really hard for me to see the bottom of the pan and see what the butter was because there was so much foam. But I was able to tell enough that I was, took it off at the right time, and it was, it was all good. Now I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, because I can already see that it's, it's starting to, to brown up just ever so slightly. You can see how this is starting to foam up a little bit. Just give it a stir and keep stirring. And you just want to look to the bottom of the pan, because that's where all the milk solids go to the bottom, and those are what are going to brown up. And if you can't see them, that's more of a pro that's problematic, right? So when I'm doing this right here, I can see that it's starting to turn. And if you want to take it off, go ahead, lift it up a little bit. You can see the brown color coming through. All right, you see that? You see how I'm whipping that around and you can see the bottom and it's just about done. Okay, I would say this is done. I'm gonna take it off the heat. Let's turn that off. It's gonna to continue to cook, so that's why we gotta get it out here. You can see it now, right? So we're gonna pour it into this dish. Hopefully I can get it all in there without going overboard. Now, can you see right here at the bottom that brown stuff going on? You wanna make sure you get all that out because that's the flavor. And that happened very quickly. 
So that's it, right? Pretty simple. It only took me literally probably less than five minutes to cook it on the stove. I mean, it, it went quick. And you just want to be right with it. Don't leave it. Stir it up really well so you can start, you can start to see that brownness coming in. And it comes quick. So man, turn off the heat, take it off the, you know, take it out of the pan, pour it into a dish and you're good to go. And you've got a nice flavor enhancer for a lot of dishes and you're gonna love the flavor. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of videos coming out. You know, every week I put one out. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you'll be notified when they come out and leave me a comment as always. I love hearing from you. So thanks again, we'll see you next time.